I'm a little nervous about this one. What's going on? It's Mike Adam. I am Jim Shear. This is Gimme Five. Each week we pick a music topic and we discuss with you. Uh, this week we have reasons why Taylor Swift is good slash bad for music. And Jim, I know you have like a vendetta here, so I, that, I'm just I'm just putting it out there. This category has been in the hopper for a while. Yeah. And I could easily give you five reasons why she is good for music. Okay. But today, I will give you five reasons why she isn't good for music. Let me hear it. Number five, she keeps the machine alive. What is the machine, you may ask? It is that top-heavy, big, mainstream pop music business model that ran through the industry like an 18-wheel semi-truck during the 70s, 80s, and 90s. It's having an army of security guards, lawyers, image consultants, publicists. It's people telling me and you that we can't ask her certain questions. Yeah. And uh, is it any coincidence that her record label is called Big Machine Records? <laughs> and what did Tom Morello and Zach De La Roca teach us? What? They taught us to rage against the machine. <laughs> like any good punk rocker should. Uh, number four, she's able to make Apple Music Bend, the world's most profitable company. And you may remember earlier in the year, uh, Apple wasn't going to pay artists initially for the first three months of Apple Music. Yep. Taylor wrote an open letter and within a day, yeah, they backed off. Yep. No, everyone said, oh, that's cool. She was sticking up for the little guy. The little guy's going to get paid. Well, the big guys are going to get paid too. But what happens if Taylor ever has bad intentions? What if someone puts out a Taylor Swift diss track and she goes to Apple? You know what? You either take that song down or you take down my whole catalog. So I just think it's bad for an artist, especially one artist, to have that much power. Yeah. Number three, you can't be the girl next door and the world's biggest pop star. Right? It drove me crazy while we shake it off in the music video where she's like, I'm so awkward, I can't dance, and I'm just like all of you guys. And then the next video, Blank Space, which has over a billion, over a billion views on YouTube. She lives in a mansion, and there's a scene where she's ballroom dancing. Looks very graceful to me. And I think it's bad for music because if you're a 17-year-old girl, you're not getting a clear message. And then there was the, uh, the Nicki Minaj VMA Twitter spat yeah. where Nicki Minaj says, well, the other girls are getting nominated. And if you have a slim body, you're getting nominated. And Taylor shot back. She said, I've always supported you. She's like, why are you pitting girls against each other? And then Nicki shot back and said, well, I'm not going after you, Taylor. B.S. And I would have jumped aboard the Taylor Swift bandwagon if she would have acted like the world's biggest pop star, which she is, and put Nicki Minaj in her place. But she didn't because it was probably bad for business. Number two, she co-ops pop music. Example, if you go to a Taylor Swift show, there's a chance that the hottest song in the country is going to be performed on her stage with that artist. Mm -hmm. And it's like a queen sitting on her throne saying, bring in the minstrel, play for my kingdom. And some people probably think it's cool that she's giving a spotlight to up and coming stars. But to me, it's almost like insurance because if The Weeknd plays I Can't Feel My Face with Taylor Swift and he becomes the next Michael Jackson two years from now, who does he owe a favor to? Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. And the number one reason Taylor Swift is bad for music, she's a business. I like my music pure. For Taylor Swift, it always seems like there's a string attached, whether it be to Diet Coke or American Express or Target or Subway. It seems like the business and the brand of Taylor Swift is always more important than the music. And for me, the music always has to be first and the business will follow. Because music needs business because we need to get paid. What about Jay-Z though? He's a businessman. 
Yeah, but he's it didn't compromise but I, the music. But I feel like he says it. Taylor Swift doesn't. Yeah. If she okay. said, "I'm a business woman. I'm a business," <laughs> then I would I would respect her for that. All right. So here are five reasons why Taylor Swift is good for okay. music. At the number five spot, uh, before going straight pop, I think she really h helped make country music mainstream and and just uh, develop it more and and you know kind of just uh, have the masses enjoy it more. Uh, of course, now country music has turned on her because she <laughs> has went pop. <laughs> but uh, at the number four spot, um, I appreciate that she writes her own stuff. Does she? And well, plays she says her she own says she instruments. Does. Yeah, okay, but I she mean, does. of course, you, you can never know, and you don't know who's co-writing and stuff like that, but at one point, I do believe she it was completely her, and she plays her own instruments. I, I do think there's uh, something to be said for that. Um, at the number three spot, I like her interaction with fans on social media and just in real life. I think she does go out of her way to respond to letters, to go to hospitals, to um, just give back, whether it's something small like, you know, uh, getting Chipotle or Starbucks for somebody or something big like. But why do we always hear about it? I know, you know, the because I, I do. I, she does a lot for charity, and she does a lot for her fans. But it always seems like we it's hear a about public it. Display. And maybe, but maybe there's a lot of stuff that we don't hear about, right? And I'd be cool with that. I would like to, yeah, I would like to think it's it's from you know a good place in her heart and not just a. a I would campaign. hope so. Yes, I would hope so too. You know, um, so I think more artists should do that because even if it is a campaign, it's still benefiting somebody, even if it's for the wrong intentions. Right. You know, if every artist was doing that, it would still. Uh, make the world a better place. <laughs> um, at the number two spot, uh, kind of against what you said, I do think she is a positive role model for girls. I mean, you know, we just got to see her belly button for the first time not long ago. Um, so I just think that she's not like dressed uh, like, say, a Nicki Minaj or um, yet. <laughs> and, you know, she hasn't had one of these major meltdowns yet. So I think, uh, you know, out of all the people you could choose as your little girl's role model, Taylor Swift is not a bad one. And the number one reason why Taylor Swift is good for music, uh, I think despite if it's for her own intentions um, or her own benefit, the fights that she puts up against the streaming services is benefiting the little guy, the up and coming artist, the unsigned artist, because those pennies, every penny matters so much to them for just their, their living, their life. Um, so regardless if it's for her own personal gain or she really is looking out for them, sticking her neck out, I think it's a good thing. All right, I'll give you that because uh, in a business sense, music is in a terrible place. So you gotta get the money where you can get it, even if it's a crumb dropped by Taylor Swift. So let the debate rage on below. For Mike Adam, my name is Jim Shear, and we will see Yens later. Mm -hmm.